at Karma Choling, you have this opportunity to have this very simple schedule because there isn't a lot of distraction. From the pictures and from what I hear from all of the community members that are still here throughout the 50 years, it sounds like it started as a community that wanted to invite teachers and eventually that became a program because that's how people could organize seeing these teachers and make that possible, you know? Uh, I'd love for us to get back to that vision of just, you know, we have a community here. Um, this is a seat of the, the Shambhala lineage. And as a seat, teachers can come and sit here. You know, this is the seat of the Shambhala teachings, the seat of uh, these precious uh, Buddhist teachings of working with your mind and these precious householder teachings. And everything's right here, everything that you need food, uh, practice space, companionship, um, work places that allow you to focus. Um, so you can really relax into a daily schedule that you want. It's less about uh, finding something that's financially viable and more about serving the community. And so we hope, I hope, that um, through having this residential model and through listening to what the community is asking for and providing uh, an opportunity for these teachers to kind of enrich our sangha, to enrich our community, we can continue serving in that way. Um, because if we're not serving the sangha, if this isn't a refuge for the sangha, and if we're not um, providing a seat for these lineage teachings and these teachers, then, um, you know, we're just a house in the middle of Vermont. There's plenty of those.